beautiful. One of the best experiences on Battlefield 4 involves taking an LAV and then finding a map with lots of air vehicles and trying to tow them all out of the sky. It's really, really fun. It's probably not the most difficult thing to do in the game, although you can make it as difficult as you want to. But overall, it is so satisfying and your team will thank you for it as well. Whilst you're not always on the objective, you are taking down air vehicles that are very, very powerful on Battlefield 4. Maps like Silk Road that have lots of air vehicles and a focus more on this longer range combat are pretty much perfect. Other maps like Dragon Valley, Giants of Corellia, to be honest, Battlefield 4 has plenty of huge scale maps. They are all just fantastic. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at some highlights from a few different games where I took the LAV and made it really difficult for the enemy air vehicles. Enjoy. Stop shell. <laughs> the beacon's still here, by the way. No, what? Where's my... Dude, I hit the jet, even though it did that to my toe. Uh-oh. <laughs> he blew himself up. <laughs> Dude, I just hit a really nice... Oh my god. No! Oh! I killed myself. Oh. Because I blew it up too close. Yeah, I hit a really nice toe on a jet. And then <laughs> this guy tried to see for me and blew it before it was on me. And he just killed himself. Find me. Oh, the jet. Oh. He's dead. Nice one. I've done about the second one. I threw a med pack at him because I don't have an OG. <laughs> <laughs> I just got out of the tank and you threw, out. <laughs> <laughs> threw a med pack at him. Oh well. You might get distracted. <laughs> I know, I've, but I've been sitting in Herman Miller's and like, I don't know. The air on, I just, I don't like it because it like restricts your legs so much, you know, because it goes up on the sides. And the one you have, I don't know, I sat in it and it's nice, but like, I felt after some, like sitting in it for an hour or something, like, I don't know, I could feel these. I just killed five guys at that transfer early. <laughs> Suspension points. It depends what you, what you like, personally. But, um, I mean, they're, they're good, they're definitely all good. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Nine kills, Andy. That heli was full as well. <laughs> oh no. Everyone on the enemy team is using mines. Yeah. What they were doing is that they had two tanks, one was engineer and one was support. And the support placed one of the AMP APS systems in front of the tanks so no one could hit you. Yeah, 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 it works for a couple of shots. It was, I had a plan, right? With, um, oh, this guy's. It's a jet. With, with the lab. Very low. 
that we got all six people into the lav. And um, no, what you'd have is everyone has an MBT law or it's like something oh, no. to f the enemy, right? So you all jump out at the same time. <laughs> Just like one bang something. <laughs> They'd never expect it. There's something coming in. It's a jet. It's dead. This is a great position for towing things. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I never hit those. <laughs> yeah, they're really tricky with the straw. Oh. <laughs> it's the same guy that was complaining earlier. She's not going to be best pleased. Oh no, I fired that too early. I'm gonna hide behind this small wooden hut. He will never get me. He is dead. No! Oh, don't you hate it when somebody spawns in the transport and you can't go in the seat that you want to be in? And they won't shoot. Oh my god. Oh! Guy's towing next to me. Oh, look who it is. I just got rammed by my own jet. As in my own team jet. <laughs> oh my. That is unlucky. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video taking a look at some pretty sweet anti air shots in the LAV, although as you see there, they don't always go to plan, so I was just showing you the ones that I actually hit. I'd say my success rate with toes are probably about one in four, maybe, something like that, which isn't bad, but there are certainly better players out there, for sure. My friend Corsair is one of those. He doesn't play Battlefield 4 too much anymore, but back in the day, he just wouldn't miss a single one, and it would be a real pain to be on the enemy team against him. Hopefully Battlefield 6 or whatever we're calling it because as I'm making this video it still hasn't been teased. Hopefully it does have some vehicle gameplay like Battlefield 4 that has something for everybody. We will see. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video.